The Harry Potter franchise has a special place in our hearts and has magically encouraged children to read the books and watch the complete set of movies. Fans got to watch stars like Daniel Radcliffe and Emma Watson mature in front of their eyes over the Harry Potter film series through both happy and unhappy moments. Similar to the characters they represented in the fantasy series, the cast members went through difficult situations, some of which may have permanently altered your opinions of the movies. While Radcliffe and Watson mainly avoided difficulty and maintained their career focus despite the challenges many child stars face, other cast members went through terrible personal times, some of which cost them their jobs. Hi, welcome to You Wanna Watch. And in this video, we're going to talk about the 12 Harry Potter cast scandals who shocked the muggle world. Number 1. Josh Herdman Sends Abusive Messages to Fan Josh Herdman, who played Gregory Goyle, allegedly slammed a fan who messaged him asking if he was on drugs. The actor-turned-MMA fighter got into a fight with a former fan who contacted him out of the blue, according to a series of screenshots published in The Sun. Josh received an Instagram message from a Potter fan named Chris, who asked him why he would want to f*** his chances of becoming an actor. He also added, no wonder the acting work dried up. Chris responded saying, I'd love you to say that to my face before calling him a and asking if he was special in the head. Chris continued, saying he was a huge Potter fan who just wanted to ask Josh, why would you mess up? The actor responded by calling him a loser with nothing better to do before saying he felt sorry for Chris's daughter for having a father like him and that having children should be illegal. I found Joshua's comments so upsetting that I threw away my entire Harry Potter box set, Chris told the son. Chris added that he struggled with his mental health in the past so to ask if he was special in the head was incredibly upsetting to him. He also said that Josh is just like Goyle in the films, a bully, and he will never watch Harry Potter again because of him. Number 2. Jamie Waylett was arrested over allegedly growing cannabis plants. Jamie Waylett, who played bullying Hogwarts student Vincent Crabbe, pleaded guilty to illegally growing 10 cannabis plants at his mother's London home. He was arrested with a friend after taking a photo of police officers as the two drove past them. When police searched his friend's black Audi, they discovered a number of cannabis bags. Jamie's mother's home in Kilburn, northwest London, was later raided and 10 cannabis plants were discovered. John and Nis, Jamie's friend, also admitted to illegally possessing 11 bags of cannabis and a knife. The hearing at Westminster Magistrates Court in central London was postponed until July 21, 2009, according to the Press Association. The case was heard the day after the latest installment in the blockbuster series, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, was released in the United Kingdom. Number 3. Daniel Radcliffe Turned Up to Set Drunk on Multiple Occasions Daniel Radcliffe, the star of Harry Potter, has spoken out about his teenage alcoholism, admitting that he used to get drunk to cope with the massive fame that came with playing the boy wizard. Daniel told off-camera that there were times in his late teens when he felt he was being watched, something he admits could have been in his head, and that he didn't know how to deal with it properly at the time. In my case, the quickest way to forget about the fact that you're being watched is to get very drunk, he said. And then as you get very drunk, you become aware that, oh, people are watching more now because now I'm getting very drunk, so I should probably drink more to ignore that more. Daniel told the media in 2012 that his nightly drinking sessions caused him to show up to film some scenes the next day while still drunk. Daniel, who has defended other child stars who have dealt with fame on a large scale, told off-camera in an interview that there is no blueprint for young celebrities trying to make it in the world. The Harry Potter star admitted that it took him several years and several attempts to break his drinking habit. He credited those closest to him for assisting him during that difficult time. Number 4. A Goblin from Philosopher's Stone was arrested for indecent exposure. In October 2010, Nicholas Reed, who played a goblin in a Harry Potter film, was found guilty of performing a sex act while wearing a juggler's hat. A 17-year-old girl testified in Leicester Crown Court that she felt trapped sitting next to Reed on a train from London to Leicester. A relatively short sentence of imprisonment will not help you, and it will certainly not protect the public from your fantasies, recorder Richard Bond said in passing sentence. Nicholas, who played a goblin, Goblin and Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in 2000 and A. Yawk in Return of the Jedi had previously been convicted of making explicit phone calls to random women from a hotel room. Nicholas was ordered to pay £500 towards the cost of his prosecution and be supervised by the probation service. Number 5. Rupert Grint and Daniel Radcliffe were accused of smoking weed. Daniel Radcliffe and Rupert Grint are two of our favorite actors. Today, they may be preoccupied with their lives. However, they were once in the news for an alleged weed smoking scandal. According to independent.co.uk, the Harry Potter star was accused of smoking a cannabis joint at a party in 2009. Rupert Grint, aka Ron Weasley, was also photographed smoking marijuana on another occasion. 
Their spokesperson, however, denied the report. Daniel does smoke the occasional roll-up cigarette, but he was not doing anything more than this, the Harry Potter actor's spokesperson said in a statement. We are considering our options and will take all appropriate action in response to such allegations. Rupert's representative stated, this is categorically not Rupert Grint. It is an impersonator or lookalike. Number 6. Jamie Waylett was sentenced to two years in prison during the London riots. Jamie Waylett was found guilty of violent disorder at Wood Green Crown Court in London. He admitted to drinking champagne from a stolen bottle. However, the actor was found not to have intended to destroy or damage property with the petrol bomb he was photographed holding. Jamie was part of a group of at least four people who entered Chalk Farm in August 2012. He was caught on camera wearing a hood over his head. Images showed him accepting a bottle of champagne from a rioter who had just looted a Sainsbury's supermarket and guzzling it down. The actor received a two-year sentence for violent disorder and 12 months for handling stolen goods to run concurrently. Number 7. Emma Watson considered quitting halfway through the franchise. Emma Watson has revealed that she almost quit the films halfway through. Although we all know that she eventually returned to the set of the films. Hermione without Emma Watson is like Harry Potter without a lightning bolt scar. According to the snippet, Emma almost quit after filming the fourth installment Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire in 2005. You are considering pulling out, I never really asked you about that, Watson's co-star and on-screen love interest Rupert Grint asked her. I think I was scared. Emma explained, I don't know if you ever felt like it got to a tipping point where you were like, this is kind of forever now. Emma also shared that she felt lonely in her career at the time, adding the fame thing had finally hit home in a big way. For the actress, who had grown up in the spotlight, her reservations and doubts about her future career prospects are understandable. In fact, it was a concern shared by the majority of the cast. Number 8. Emma Watson suffered wardrobe malfunctions. Emma Watson doesn't intend to show much skin on the red carpet, but the Harry Potter actress seems to have the most wardrobe malfunctions. In London, Watson inadvertently flashed her spanks while posing at the Noah premiere in Leicester Square. Her most famous incident occurred in July 2009, when she accidentally exposed her knickers at the premiere of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. This was a minor wardrobe malfunction, she later explained. I don't recall it happening, but at least I was wearing underwear. Number 9. Daniel Radcliffe admitted to sleeping with Harry Potter fans a few times. Daniel Radcliffe admitted to sleeping with Harry Potter groupies in an interview with The Mirror. I was always very nervous about the groupie thing. I like to like somebody before I sleep with them. You know you're going to have to talk to them afterward, even if it is a one-night stand. The Harry Potter star went on to say, I have. I mean, that has happened, but generally speaking, I've known the person. Apart from a few times when I was drinking. Besides, I like having a girlfriend. I have a crazy life. Somebody will tell me we're going to an airport and I know vaguely what we're doing but I have no idea when so I take it a day at a time. We are nearing the end of our video, but before we proceed, we would like to ask you to please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash c slash you wanna watch 2022 and follow us on our Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash you wanna watch. Any support you provide us will help us provide you with more and better content. Okay, now back to the story. Number 10. Emma Thompson divorced her husband Kenneth Branagh after he had an affair with Helena Bonham Carter all of which were in the Harry Potter films. Emma Thompson married Kenneth Branagh in 1989, but divorced him six years later after discovering his affair with Helena Bonham Carter, which allegedly began on the set of Frankenstein in 1994. Emma played Professor Trelawney in The Prisoner of Azkaban, The Order of the Phoenix, and The Deathly Hallows, Part 2. Kenneth played Professor Gilderoy Lockhart in The Chamber of Secrets, and Helena played Bellatrix Lestrange throughout the franchise. Helena and Kenneth's relationship lasted five years before they split up in 1999, and she later began a long-term relationship with director Tim Burton in 2001. When Emma revealed the affair for the first time in 2013, she said it was all blood under the bridge, adding, you can't hold on to anything like that. It's pointless. I haven't got the energy for it. Helena and I made our peace years and years ago. Number 11. Devin Murray was ordered to pay his agent £210,000. Devin Murray, who played Seamus Finnegan in all eight Harry Potter films, was ordered to pay his ex-agent Neil Brooks £210,000 in the High Court. Neil claimed Devin was once a joy to work with, but that after the first four films, Devin tried to dodge out of his obligations under the contract in an unlawful manner and owed him commission fees totaling more than £230,000. Neil's mother had told the court he had been paid well for his work but had gone out drinking, taken out girls, 
girls and bought cards because that is what teenage boys do leaving him with little money. She said the family had sacked Neil for not doing enough to deal with adverse publicity about Devon. Devon was ordered to pay the talent agent £210,000 of the reported £1 million he earned from the Harry Potter films. And finally at number 12, Emma Watson calls Tom Felton her soulmate. Emma discussed her long-standing friendship with Felton, which has fueled romance rumors over the years, in her memoir. She wrote, Like Tom, I always struggle to explain to people the nature of our connection and relationship, she wrote. For more than 20 years now we've loved each other in a special way, and I've lost count of the times that people have said to me, you must have drunkenly made out, just once. You must have kissed. There must be something. The answer. But what we have is far deeper than that. It's one of the purest loves I can think of. We're soulmates, and we've always had each other's backs. I know we always will. According to excerpts published in the Daily Mail UK, Tom Felton revealed that he had a secret love for Emma, but not perhaps in the way that people might want to hear. That isn't to say that there's never been a spark between between us. There most definitely has, only at different times, he wrote. Rumors started to abound that there was more to our relationship than we were letting on. I deny that I liked her in that way, but the truth was different. What do you think about the list? Which one do you think was the most shocking? Did we miss anyone or anything that you think should have been included? Let us know your thoughts by writing a comment on this video. If you're interested in our other videos, just hover over the videos and just press play. Until next time watchers, thank you for watching our video.